What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut8610, and today I thought it'd be fun to open up some of these, uh, new Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Power Boxes? Yeah, we actually saw some of these at Walmart. Uh, seems like they have these every year. It does look like this one is different from the previous ones that we've seen. And, uh, yeah, I thought I'd pick them up. I actually got two of them to see if these are worth it or not. Sometimes these Mystery Power Boxes are actually good. And sometimes they really aren't. I mean, it really does go from one way or the other. So I figured I'd waste my money instead of you guys wasting yours. So please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and all that so you guys can see everything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh! and old and all that too. And so you know what to spend your money on and what not to. Because I'm working on like a Christmas list sort of thing too for Yu-Gi-Oh! players. So let me know if you have some cool ideas on that. I mean, we're getting close to Black Friday and all that as well. So I figured that would be a fun video. But these are about $30 each. And again, we'll see if this is something that you actually want to get for Christmas or just for fun or so want to stay away from basically because there's a lot of good products out there right now I don't know of course too as you guys can see this is the limited holiday edition so you get uh, two booster packs two duelist packs one legacy pack one Yu-Gi-Oh deck and then a mystery item which mystery items can be very random from what we've seen in the past so let's get to it sometimes they can be kind of cool and sometimes not so much I would like Maybe like a deck box or, you know, if they could really get like something cool, like some kind of Yu-Gi-Oh! promo item, that would be neat. But most of the time, I feel like we see sleeves or like an oversized Yu-Gi-Oh! card that, you know, you probably already have a bunch of if you bought some of those products. We'll see. Also, too, this is what the back looks like. <laughs> I didn't show that, but yeah, so maybe we'll get what's on the back. I don't know. Sometimes it's that way, sometimes not so much. Oh, hey, for a figure hanger like thing, we got a uh, baby dragon. That's kind of cool. There you go. I think that was from the one of the previous ones. I'm trying to see. Uh, I think I have some of uh, my figure hangers over here to the right of me. So, yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. I guess that's our mystery item. Then, of course, we have Hidden Summoners, one of our packs. Then, for our deck of cards, we actually have the starter deck, I guess, for. Uh, Rin Rigi, I guess. I want to say Ringi because Bleach, but yeah. <laughs> there you go. With his DDD monsters. Then we also have a Kaiba Duelist Pack, which that could be worth it. You can get Ultimate Rares. Of course, to Spell Ruler. Then uh, Invasion of Chaos. That's why I don't know what to say on the Legacy Pack. Is it... I mean, those are two, two Legacy Packs, really. And then we have a Duelist Pack Yugi, which is honestly pretty good to get, too. Anything else? No, that is everything from this. So, yeah, let's open this up, I guess, first and see what we get, okay? So, we'll go with our Hidden Summoners first. Everything's hollow from this. I'm trying to think if there was anything too crazy. Unfortunately, you can't get Collector's Rares from this one. Oh, well, there you go, though. Manchio 10,000 Hands, that is probably one of the better cards, I would say. Print Kids are good to get from this. Riflery of Warlords, that's good. And a Nethi's the Sacred Flame. Man, I wish these cards were a little bit better than Nethi's cards. I always thought they were cool. But, yeah, not bad. Got a couple of good cards from that. Then, I guess, Invasion of Chaos. Why not leave the Duelist Packs for last? Alright, Heart of the Underdog. Grand Maju, one of my favorite cards. There you go. An older card that's... I remember bringing that to YCS. That was a fun one. Primal Seed, Gale Lizard, we have Enraged Battle Ox, it's a rare, Can, is the hollow behind the rare, or, okay, I don't know if it's before or after, but we didn't get one, Crimson Ninja, Torpedo Fish, Terra King Salmon, and Ojama Delta Hurricane, still cool to see that stuff, always a fan of that one, man, I'd love to get a box of them, but, you know, supposedly I can't sell my kidneys, we have, uh, let's see, Metal Fish, then the Reliable Guardian, Dark Witch, and Maha Vilo. That's actually a holo. Okay, I didn't see that at, for a second. I forgot, actually, that she was a holo card. So, yeah, super rare. Not bad, actually. I, I remember actually using this card a few times back in the day because she would get stronger than more equipped cards. Eh, pretty decent for them. So, yeah, I kind of like her design, too. Then Amoeba, High Tide Yojin, Toll, uh, Oct to Berzer. I don't know how you say that, and Performance of Sword. So, yeah, there you go. At least we got a hollow, though, so that's cool. Then, Duelist Pack Yugi. I'm going to try to end with that Kaiba one. That's the one I want an Ultimate Rare, right? I mean, that's that's the goal. So, we'll see what happens there. 
we have a Spellbinding Circle. Uh, I don't have room. There we go. <laughs> Let's see. Yellow Gadget. Catapult Turtle. Stronghold the Moving Fortress. And Exchange. No Hollow from that one, unfortunately. It does have some decent ones, though. I remember mainly Mirror Force being probably one of the best things. And, and Dark Paladin, obviously. And now, Duelist Pack Kaiba. Since it is technically the last pack for this first box, can we end with a Hollow? Can we end with an Ultimate Rare? Let's see. I mean, it's a good pack. If you can find them, <laughs> it is always one of those older ones. I'm like, yeah, pick it up, obviously. Okay. Interdimensional Matter Transporter. Familiar Knights. White Dragon Ritual. Ah, Judgment, I thought it was maybe a Blue Eyes. And Vampire Lord, so no hollow from that one. And I'll open up the starter deck real quick, too, because this is, I think, a kind of decent one. There are the tablets already. Makes it easier. Let's see, because I do think actually Pendragon is uh, a little on the expensive side. I think it's like a $10 card or something, so not bad, really, when you get down to it. So DDD, uh, Dragon King Pendragon, we have Exploder Dragon, which is decent, uh, Dark Hole, Smashing Ground, Mirror Force, there you go, uh, Magic Cylinder, and some pretty decent cards for beginners. I mean, it was, I believe, one of the last starter decks, so I still think we need starter decks, honestly, but that's just my two cents on it. And uh, I think this deck was okay. You know, it's about what I would expect from beginning one. It had some pretty decent cards, like two MST is good. Uh, Axe of Despair is still pretty decent for back then, too. Uh, trap Hole, Dust Tornado, y your usual spells and traps, I feel like, that are easy for beginners to understand. And Pendragon was a pretty cool boss monster. I, I will give it credit on that, too. So, yeah, that's everything from the first box. Was that worth it? is i don't know <laughs> that's tough we'll see what happens on this one i feel like that could go either way on it where it's like if it was closer to 20 dollars, i think i'd like that more than 30 you know what i mean maybe i'm just cheap i don't know i mean i don't buy as many packs as other youtubers as much these days like i see ruxin buying so many so maybe i am cheap he does get some awesome stuff though too so is it basically the same Okay, that's everything. So, first off, we do have Yugi this time. Again, one of the figure hangers. I do actually like these figures. I do think uh, these are the older ones, first off, and I do think the quality was pretty good. The newer ones that I see at GameStop right now, and I think Hot Topic has them, and maybe some other place too, EB Games, I think I've heard, I don't like those. So, they don't seem as good a quality. But these older ones are actually pretty decent for what they are. So it looks like basically the same packs. In Summoners, we have both of the... Uh, Kaiba and Yugi, which I've seen a lot of people get these, so I consider that a good thing. Ooh, actually the Light Sworn structure deck. That's pretty good. And then, yeah, two of the same Legacy packs, too. So, I consider that pretty good. Let's see what we get from Hidden Summoners. Hidden Summoners being probably the the worst of the three, or of, like, all the packs, basically, right now. I don't think there's anything that's really sought after, unfortunately. Shirinui Spirit Master. On the Print Kids, Weather Washer, Goes and Match. That is a decent card. Circle of the Fire Kings. And then we have uh, Yoko the Graceful Mayakashi. So yeah, if you're looking for some Mayakashi, yeah, they're in that set too. So that's kind of good, I guess, if you didn't get everything from Mavens. I think Mavens had most of the stuff reprinted. But yeah, either way, it's, it's a good one to get, I guess. It's one of the better cards of the set. Now, Legacy Packs. Spell Ruler. See what we can get. We have Ryuran, uh, Fairy's Hand Mirror, uh, Tyone 2, <laughs> number 2, Turtle Oath, Gigantic Germ, or Giant Germ, excuse me, I'm adding, I guess, <laughs> to it. Uh, of course, the Sanctuary, Electric Snake, Jingen Bakudan, and then, of course, Wall Shadow. But yeah, Giant Germ is actually pretty good. I remember using that back in the day, and nowadays probably not so much, but uh, back then, pretty annoying. I always remember Kaiba from the, the PC game actually using that, so. It's not a fun one to deal with. Maybe even GOAT format, that could be fun. I don't know. Now we have Stumbling, Pitch Hopper, then Desk Kangaroo, Blasting the Ruins. We have uh, Lakunga. Sacred Crane, again, that's actually a decent one. Uh, Molten Zombie, DNA Transplant, and Fenrir. So, unfortunately, no hollow out of that one either, but 
you know, again, it does have some decent commons and stuff too. So let's go on ahead. Actually, I want to do the structure deck next because I want to save these for last. These are pretty much what we're banking on, right? So let's go with these real quick. Let's have the tear easy. No, it doesn't. Let me find that real quick. Well, that's not too bad, actually. It's right there. Some of these, like, you can't find the little tab thing or I can't easily, so that's why I usually edit and <laughs> make it easier, basically. But let's see. First off, we have Michael the Arc Lightsworn. Then Lightsworn Sanctuary. Minerva, Lightsworn Maiden. Raiden, uh, Hand of Lightsworn. And then, yeah, everything else you're getting, like, reprints and stuff for Lightsworns and Twilight, I believe, a little bit, too. It was a pretty good structure deck, actually. I like Lightsworns. It's a fun, especially, like, Edison deck if you're wanting to play that format. Um, only thing is, Lightsworns don't like me. Every time I've ever played them, I could use, like, the best build. A build that's won, like, several YCSs or whatever. I, I always mill the wrong cards. The deck hates me. Like, seriously, every time I've tried to play them. So, <laughs> it's not the deck for me, unfortunately, even though I've always liked them. And it does have some good reprints, too. Like, Breakthrough Skill is still a pretty decent card, honestly. So, yeah. Out of Structure Decks, that's probably a fairly pricey one, too. I don't know what that goes for anymore. All right, oh, we'll save Kaba for last. All right, so Yugi first. Come on, give me a hollow out of one of these. Okay, we have, uh, whoa, focus, there we go. Green Gadget, Jack's Knight, Red Gadget, Queen's Knight, and Black Luster Soldier. So, unfortunately, nothing too crazy, although I do like the original Black Luster Soldier. And last pack. All right, Duelist Pack Kaiba. Can we end with that ultimate rare? Let's see. <laughs> Harder the cards help me out here. Let's see what happens, right? I mean, that's if you get ultimate rare, I mean, that definitely would make the box worth. Uh, we have Cloning, Legend, Mr. Genie of the Lamp, Flew to Summoning Dragon. You know what? We ended with a hollow. I'll take that. Return from Different Dimension. That gives us at least one hollow. And then, of course, Pet and the Dark Clown. So, yeah. At least we got our hollow in the end. No ultimaries. Again, it's fairly tough. What was it? Five ultimaries, I think, in that set. Some good ones, though. I mean, getting those packs is definitely good. But just getting one, you know, is... Uh, <laughs> your odds aren't necessarily the best. But, hey, if you get it, you get it. Um, are these box worth it, though? Do I, do I think they're worth it? I, I kind of say no. I, I think I'm going to lean towards no. Um... I like these kind of things usually. They make for good videos, really, right? You know, if you're going to do opening videos, then yes, it's probably something good for that. Let me know what you guys think about that. You agree or disagree? And let me know, too, if you open up one of these, did you have way better luck than me? I mean, that could make the difference, too. I don't know. So if you got something really good, <laughs> maybe your opinion is completely different. But yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and all that. I'd greatly appreciate it. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.